we did it. The 1.5 mobile update is here. I am absolutely buzzing today because I'm so excited that we are finally going to have in our literal hands the update that we have been waiting for for two years. I, of course, have played it on PC already, but I know the feeling I had when I was able to start playing this content and I am so excited for you if this is your first time playing through or if it's not your first time and you have already played it on PC, I'm excited for you to have this while you're on the go. And from a lot of your comments on my other videos, I realized that a lot of the content that I have been making is really in-depth guides, which is really going to help you out. But there's a lot of really cool changes, improvements, and features that were added in this update that I think that you're really excited about. And so I'm going to highlight some of the, the changes, improvements, features in this video so that you know what to look out for while you're playing this massive update. So let's get into it with number one, moving your bed. This is something that is a really great change because it allows you to really uh, design your house the way you want to. And as you can see here, if you are somebody that loves to go to the mines and pushes it until, you know, 2 a.m. where you're about to pass out, you can actually move your bed closer to your doorway. So it will save you just a little bit of time when you're coming home late at night from the mines, or if you are at the beginning of the season, planting and watering your crops until the bitter end of the night. It just saves you that few steps, which is really helpful. Number two. So this change will not be available until you hit uh, the beginning of fall in your second season. I believe it's fall two. And so you're, you can't miss it because as soon as you enter the town, it's going to play a cutscene where you are going to see Robin and Mayor Lewis, and they are going to set up this new request board. It has a little bit more advanced quests, but the rewards are excellent. So stay on alert every Monday when the quests get updated and complete as many as you can because a lot of them have really great rewards. While we're on the topic of this request board, I'm going to tell you three quests that you're definitely going to want to look out for because they come with some very useful items, being the solar panel, which allows you to make batteries when it is sunny out because we know that it is annoying to wait for a storm all the time. Although with Ginger Island, it does tend to rain a little bit more often, but still, it's still a great item. There's also the coffee maker, which allows you to have a fresh cup of coffee every day and really stock up on that because now that there's so much ground to cover, you're definitely going to need some movement speed boosts and the mini shipping bin, which can be actually placed off your farm. It does have a limited amount of slots every day, but if you place it on, let's say the beach or near the mines, you can ship some of those goods uh, while you're on the go, which is amazing. So those three quests that you're gonna wanna complete are island ingredients, gifts for George, and Pierre's prime produce. So stay on the look for those ones, but honestly, complete them all. Number four. Four, uh, there is a change to your coops that if you have something uh, in the incubator and your coop is actually full, it will tell you when you walk into the coop that uh, your egg can't hatch because there's no room. So you're going to have to build another coop. While we're on the topic of coop animals, here is the next two combined into one ducks and duck feathers got some changes so they're a little bit more profitable which is good because i just love the ducks and so it's even better to fill up your coops with them also if you let them outside near a body of water there's a very cute change that also is in the game now so i will just let you figure that one out for yourself but i'm sure you can guess so let your ducks go by the water it's so cute Moving on to number six, we have an awesome second community upgrade. So you have to complete the first community upgrade first, but you will now have the opportunity to do a second one. And so there are a bunch of pathways that are going to be created to help you get around the map a little bit easier. Again, if you have the cash to do it, it's just a really awesome thing to complete so that you have even more choices of how to progress around the map. Number seven, we have 
home renovation. So this is going to make your home a little bit bigger so you can put more things in it, whether that be production equipment to help you farm more, or in the, this case, I wanted to display all the rare fish I caught. And so that was just a really fun thing to do with that extra space as well. Number eight, sitting on a chair. I didn't realize how bad people hated this lack of sitting on chairs uh, until I read the comments of all my videos about 1.5 and I was laughing so hard. So thank you for all those comments because I just forgot that the inability to sit on those chairs was so annoying. It made all of that furniture seem so pointless. And even though you're not going to spend your day sitting on a chair, just the fact that you can hop on the chair is amazing. So that is an amazing change. Make sure you go sit on all your furniture finally. Number nine, the Curiosity Lure. Uh, it's a new lure that you can add to your fishing rod and truly it is great because I am terrible at fishing. Uh, <laughs> I mean, we all know this. If you've ever watched any of my videos, I talk about it all the time. Fishing is not my jam. I'm not great at it. And so this Curiosity Lure helped me start to complete a lot of the uh, fishing tasks that I couldn't, like the rare fish and things like that. So it is amazing. So be on the lookout for that. There's a couple different ways to get it, but it's kind of like a loot drop. Uh, in Ginger Island, but you can also get it in the mines as well. So if you see this lure, definitely pick that up and start using it. Another awesome change, especially because uh, I'm gonna make a different video on this regarding perfection, but if you ever were curious about what you have and have not crafted, you can select this in the option menu to show advanced crafting information. So in order to get perfection, you have to craft one of everything. So you can actually tell have you crafted it or not, which is awesome. Okay, I always do 10 changes, uh, but I'm already at number 11 here. So let's just keep going. Uh, the fishing bite sound, if you do not like the sound that plays when you hook a fish, now you can change it. Uh, there's a couple different options. So test out which one you like. Uh, it's a great quality of life change to have. Number 12, while we're in the menu and options, you can actually see which NPCs you've talked to each day. And that is really helpful because sometimes if you're trying to increase your friendship with everyone, but you can't remember what you did earlier in the day, who you talked to, that is a great way to keep track of it. Number 13, we can customize the buildings on our farm now, including your farmhouse, sheds, coops, barns, everything. So it's really helpful, especially when you're designing your farm. If you want to have a really cool theme idea, but the red doesn't really go with those theme in the case of your sheds and your barns and stuff like that, you can actually now change it. And that is just a very cool thing. So you're just going to have to visit Robin and play around with all the different paint styles. And you can actually save them so that you can color each one the exact same because there's nothing worse than having them a little bit different unintentionally. Okay, number 14. Uh, I saved the best for last, I think, because it was so annoying, especially if you're somebody that keeps everything that you find and puts it in chess. In order to ever move a chest, you have to take everything out, move the chest, put it back in. Well, not anymore. Now you can actually bump your chest along. Just make sure you don't have any tools equipped. And if you just grab onto it and push the direction that you want to go, you can now move your chest. And that is extremely helpful. All right, so that's where we're going to end it for today. Again, I'm so excited for you to consume everything that this update has to offer. Uh, let me know if there's anything specifically in the comments that you want me to cover. And I will do my best to make that happen. So have a great day, a great weekend, a great week, a great month playing. And we will see you at the next video.